The holiday season is right around the corner, and today on At Your Leisure, we're giving you a preview at one Utah town that has more spirit and adventure than you would ever expect. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Maria Rossi Booth. Then we'll head east with Bree Stein as he discovers a Grand Canyon in New York that will change the way you think about East Coast exploits. Lastly, Darren Kinder finds out about a new turbine induction system for the AYL 4x4 and decides to put it to the test. At Your Leisure starts now. Bully, I say bully. It's Roosevelt time. <laughs> Roosevelt, Utah. That's exactly right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Maria Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth. We are in delightful Duchesne County at this shoulder time of the year, just getting ready to go into the holiday season and talk about a community that knows how to do it. We are here for the Holly Fair, kind of an advanced chance for you to do a little craft shopping before the season actually gets here. And we're also here to check out Wintertime Adventures. That's right. But before we go to our adventures, we want to check out what the Holly Fair is all about and also the upcoming events that are going on in Duchesne County this holiday season. The Roosevelt Holly Fair is famous. It's been going on 45 years, one of the longest running craft fairs in the state of Utah. It has gone from being in one small building to now being in four very large locations. We have vendors from four states. We have about 10,000 people that make unique visits to the Holly Fair. It's always the first weekend in November. Something very special. A lot of people make their November plans around the Holly Fair. It's fun for the whole family. There's things for adults, there's things for kids, there's things for husbands. Lots of home decor. And they're going to find stuff from bath and body stuff to quilts to homemade fudge. When you have artisans that come here and really show their talents, it really does cast a flavor of the family atmosphere, the type of quality of life we have here, uh, the things that are important to us. There's art, there's people who do photography. So does it actually keep it chilled? It actually freezes the rock itself, ma'am, and it'll stay cold for up to two hours at room temperature. Wow. <laughs> Bottom dumper, side dumper, 10 wheeler, 18 wheeler, they're all here. Yeah, I'm gonna get them one. I'm not gonna be able to get it in a stocking, but I'll get it under the tree. John Deere towels. Little crocheted booties for the widow baby. I want a baby so I can One give him some. Right? <laughs> Even Santa has to climb the corporate ladder. I want one of everything. So again, it really does add to the flavor of our area, and it certainly has kind of that, that broad feeling of this is a good place to be. This is where I want to live, work, and play. And uh, this just adds to a more fun to come to in the basin. We have a little shopping list. And we're going to buy some of those things right now, though. It's time to go to a travel adventure. Steve Human is on four wheels, not like the kind of little wood toys I saw, the big ones. All right, portable picnic table. That's getting back to the area I'm comfortable with. <laughs> Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're in Roosevelt, Utah at the Holly Fair. Yeah, we're at the Grace Event Center here in Roosevelt. And this center's been here for uh, about a year. And it's just, it's so much fun. You can get married here. You can have craft fairs here. You can do it all here. But it's really beautiful and everything is handmade. And it's just, to me, it's amazing because there's so much labor of love in all of this. It's a great venue for a lot of holiday things too, like Christmas parties, concerts, yeah. things like that. So it's a very festive place this time of year. It is, but not only do they have great event centers here, they also, you can have lots of fun outside. Lots of outside adventure, especially in the winter time. The northern part of our county is a winter land. You get down south and, and it's kind of cool, but then it warms up and it's a banana belt. And, and so you have a, a lot of diversity during the winter time out here. Some years we have a lot of fog. And so you see a lot of ice crystals. As the snow starts to fall, 
Obviously, you can't get as deep into the mountains unless you're on a snowmobile. So a lot of snowmobiling opportunity is available within Duchesne County. Uh, one place that uh, is really good to get to is Rock Creek because of the upper Stillwater Dam, they plow the road all the way up to the dam. So you can get quite a ways up and get really up into the high country in your snowmobile. U.S. Highway 35 is a state highway and they gate that off in the wintertime. They don't maintain that one and so the snow goes from 4 to 12, 16 feet deep some winters and uh, when that happens then you know it's a playground up there. People really love it up there. There's a lot of still open trails that you can take your four-wheelers on or you can go out on a lot of the Class D roads in the county that's snow-packed. Uh, you can see wildlife out there. A lot of snowshoeing goes on. Um, the Forest Service up there really helps out and has some trails that they can go up. This year we're looking forward to having people in our new aquatic center. Our first year here in Roosevelt with an indoor pool that will be open all winter. Also, the residents really wanted to kick something off that uh, would get people out and involved. So the first of February is our winter fest. We have a specialist here that does cross-country skiing at our golf course. They do hot chocolate and sledding up at our park. It has a beautiful hill to sled on. They've done it the last two years and it is really taking off. It's cold outside, but even the sledding, you have so much fun. Okay, I rest my case about doing things outdoors in Duchesne County. Wrap up a day like this. Isn't it beautiful? It is absolutely stunning. Yeah. Well, right now it's time for us to turn our attention to our trailhead adventure. Now, Reese has found a chasm, you know, one of those things, holes in the ground, but it's not around here. Check this out. Our Thanksgiving show next week looks like it's going to be a great show, so I hope you stay tuned. That's right. You know, there's nothing that wraps up a day like a walk down Main Street. Yeah. So it's been a lot of fun. This is just the best town. I, I really love this little town. That's right. Whether it's golfing in summer, snowmobiling in the winter, it's all here. Yeah, and it's not little. It's, no. It feels small, like a small town, but it has everything. That's true, it yeah. does. Well, remember, there's adventure around every bend. You just got to get out there and create your own adventure. At your leisure. We'll see you, see you next, next time. Week. You want to take in a movie? Let's. Okay. Tinder, and we're down here at performance. Shoot. Premier performance. Chad has my arms down, so I can't reach into my pockets to get money. <laughs> <laughs> we put right this, to the wall. We this with. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're going to want to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're going to want to like it, you're going to want to share it, and you're going to want to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're going to want to do, click, right? Click, click, click. Click on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you going to sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you want to click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.